Hey guys, Robert Ham here again, and this is a really exciting day. Those of you that know that the office is kind of cluttered right now, I've got my LG V20 in. I'll give you my thoughts on that in a couple of days. I've got some free print stuff right here. I love these guys, and I got a photo book in for them. So if you haven't seen the photo book, check it out. Free photo book. Excellent, excellent. Free prints. Now, to be quite honest, I have no idea what these, what's in here. I don't know. I just, I just ordered it. They're free, so why not, you know? I paid $2 shipping or something, maybe less for these prints. Let's see what we got. Ah, how cool is that? Okay, so that's cool. That's really, really, really cool. All right. So this, the reason that this is cool is because these are images uh, from my, my work. These are professional images that I do for my work. And so I know what these look like when I print them out myself. So I'm gonna tell you right now what I see immediately as the difference and what I like about them. Um, in this particular image right here, uh, these guys, this the Grays, Mr. and Mrs. Gray, uh, great, great couple. The image right here, a little bit more contrasty than the original image. In fact, quite a bit more contrasty and also some more saturation. However, still a very beautiful image. You're gonna find that, that I normally print this stuff on a luster paper, and luster has a, a softer contrast curve, but here's what's happening. When you send your prints in, they're going to apply in the print process and auto, uh, auto colors and auto levels. You'll also see that right here, that there's a definitely orange to green to blue shift as it goes around, and that's actually, in the original photo, it's just not as saturated as that. All in all, you would be very happy to have this come out of your camera and pick it up or get this in the mail and open it up. I'm very happy with this print, but I'm telling you right now, it's, uh, it's a little different. And they have done something different as well. Oh my goodness, they've got my favorite paper. I thought this felt different, I didn't know. This is Fuji Crystal Archive paper. They've been sending me Kodak paper. So Kodak, like a gold or Kodak. So this is Crystal Archive paper, which tells me a couple of things. Number one, they've got the ability to print this with matte instead of the glossy. Uh, and it's a dry print process paper. And I love the Crystal Archive paper. So because of that, I knew the paper felt a little bit more. Um, so it looks like you don't really have any say in which kind of paper you get, but definitely uh, check out. Uh, they're, they're, they are using different machines. That's pretty interesting. And so here's one. We're uh, holding up the kiss. I love that one. Nice monochrome. And once again, on Crystal Archive. Uh, I really like that picture. Uh, and this is them ahead of time. Definitely saturated a little bit more. This had more of a, a softer saturation curve. In fact, all of these did more on to, uh, to the tone of um, uh, like Fuji 400H or Portra 400. Uh, this is a great image right here. I like it. Just a nice little glasses cup detail image of the ring and the special things from their wedding. Um, here we go, Davey. I like this guy, Davey in the Navy. Davey, uh, nice guy right here and a great picture. I enjoy it. These, the beach shots, the outdoor shots come in very well. Amy looking beautiful right here. Uh, some of my work, uh, what a beautiful couple. These two, these two got married and they, they, uh, absolutely great couple. I enjoyed, I miss those guys. Those guys were lots of fun. Sandra right here. Lots of fun too, another black and white. So I wanted to print the black and white. Black and white's definitely, definitely moody and contrasty. Excellent right here. Detail shots, beautiful for vividness. Um, Jim and Bob at their wedding and they literally tied the knot, those two guys. They were an absolute hoot. I loved working with them. So all in all, I think that these, these images came out very well. Uh, the one thing that I can tell from looking at them, all of them, is that you're getting a, a processed image. So if you're a photographer and you want to use this to supplement some of your print processing just for four by sixes or something like that, know that when you send in a complete edit, like you're working in Lightroom or Photoshop or something like that, that they're going to completely uh, reprocess the image. It's just, just like if you if like if you press the the auto contrast, auto levels button, auto color correction button, stuff like that. It's going to do that. In fact, they it looks like they um, haven't messed with the white balance very much, but that's because the white balance on these would be pretty easy to determine, and it was solid when it came through. So that's good. If you're just taking casual snaps on your cell phone, right, then that's great because it's going to auto correct everything at the print time, which means that you're going to get a higher quality image and a better color representation. 
But if you're working with a workflow process and sending your images to a lab, you can't guarantee that these are going to be color matched to your profile of your, of your monitor and your printer uh, and, and your actual camera, depending on how you're working. So that is okay, though. It's just something to notice. I still love this image right here, although out of these, it's not my favorite. I got to tell you, my favorite image out of these, I think it's this one. These guys right there and the veils over them and the blue in the background. How beautiful. So guys, Free Prince is legitimate. This is no joke. These guys are doing an excellent job. Check it out over here at Free Prince. Okay. Now you can use my code RHAM13. That'll get me extra free prints each month. That'll get you extra free prints each month if you sign up. I'm not affiliated with them at all. If you sign up, you'll get a special code. It'll be like whatever it is. Mine happens to be RHAM13. And I'm excited. So currently, no one's used that code because <laughs> for whatever reason. But uh, if you did, I'd get like five extra free prints each month, and you would get five extra free prints each month. So currently, we're at 85, 5, 10, 15, 20. You could get up to 100, maybe more free prints each month, depending on how many people uh, use your code. Guys, I'm Robert Ham with RobertHamPhotography.com. Catch me over on Twitter at Rob Ham Photo. You can even find me on both Facebook. And YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button, smash and subscribe because you could win my camera. This camera that's being given away is an Olympus 35RC, much like the one you see right here. This is the RD, and it's taking place live on YouTube, November 20th, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there or be square. Yeah, square. Square, somehow. Be something. I want you to come and win my camera. The more you enter, the more you like, the more uh, entries you have into the contest. Actually, it's not a contest into the giveaway. So I hope to see you on the other side. I'm Robert Ham with RobertHamPhotography.com. You can catch me over on Twitter at RobHamPhoto. And as always, keep printing, my friends. Oh, yeah, keep printing.